We talked about how Nimrod was the first Babylonian king who instigated a one-world government and a one-world religion in the first civilization after the flood. He then became Osiris of the Egyptians, Apollo of the Greeks, and he goes by many other names like the sun god Ra. We discussed his symbols, one of them being the obelisk, representing the male organ right across from a domed womb of Isis, symbolizing the story of how Isis reincarnated Osiris, who became Horus. These symbols have represented this story all throughout history, and we see it in Washington, D.C. and the Vatican, one of the two most influential and powerful entities on the earth. I've mentioned that it's interesting to note that these two powerful entities would erect such symbols representing this ancient story of Osiris and Isis, who is actually Nimrod in light of their supposed dedication to Jesus and the one true God. They are telling a different story with their symbols versus what they say out of their mouth. However, this structure of the obelisk and the womb of Isis isn't a modern thing done to tell the story, but an ancient one. And we first see it in the Bible in the book of Jeremiah, where God is prophesying and ordering King Nebuchadnezzar, who was the king of Babylon at that time, to pronounce judgment on the gods of Egypt by tearing down their obelisks that worship the sun. It states in Jeremiah 43, verse 13, quote, He shall break the obelisks of Heliopolis, which is in the land of Egypt, and the temples of the gods of Egypt he shall burn with fire, end quote. Heliopolis means valley of the sun, which is deified as the sun god Ra. Recall the sun god Ra aided and assisted Isis in the reincarnation of Osiris, who became Horus. So these obelisks, not only in history, but also confirmed in the historical text of the Bible, is a symbol used to symbolize Osiris and Ra and Horus, who is actually Nimrod from Babylon. They are grouped together as the same entity. So if in Babylonian culture, Egyptian culture, and in the Bible, this is what this symbol means, why would Washington, D.C. and the Vatican have an ancient Egyptian symbol to Nimrod or to Ra, the sun, as symbols of a supposed Christian religion or Christian nation? We must look past at what is given to us and look in the history and the meanings of these things that state that they're actually worshiping a pagan deity who is the Antichrist, who they are all looking to and tirelessly working for to bring about a new world order.